Welcome to Shortwave Radio Past and Present. And today we talk about Radio Australia with some of my QSL cards that were from Radio Australia back in the day. Radio Australia, I think for a lot of us, has a very special place in our heart. I think a lot of us were actually uh, listening to Radio Australia in our mornings here in North America. 9580 kilohertz, who doesn't remember that frequency? And in the evening, 17795, 21740. These are frequencies that are in my head forever. As uh, that was part of my summer listening of Radio Australia. So, uh, of course, unfortunately, they left the airwaves in 2017. There's still some talk going on and and propositions to try to bring back Radio Australia. But, um, you know, the transmitter sites have pretty much been shut down and the return of Radio Australia is far from being something that could happen easily, uh, let's say the least. Across Asia and the Pacific, you're listening to Radio Australia. Radio Australia, 24 hours a day in English and also in Chinese. This is Australian Radio Radio Australia. Indonesian. Saudara sudah mendengarkan siaran dari Radio Australia. Khmer. Miss Kiki from Lake of Bafuchi, Australia. Selamat datang di Asia Pasifik. Pigeon. Welcome now. Long talk is in broadcast. Ikan long radio Australia. And Vietnamese. Quý vị đang nghe chương trình của đài phát thanh quốc tế. For tuning and program guides, go to abc.net.au/ra. Radio Australia is now on relay to 180 stations in Asia and the Pacific. Our English service is now heard live 24 hours a day in Suva on 92.6 FM. Port Moresby's 101.9 FM now carries our English and top prison services around the clock. Radio Australia news can now be heard in Bangkok on Metropolis 107 FM. In Phnom Penh, our English service is heard 24 hours a day on 101.5 FM, and the respected Women's Media Centre now relays our Khmer service and news bulletins in both Khmer and English. More 24-hour live relays are planned for the coming months, and we've recently conducted trial digital broadcasts into Europe. Via FM relays and partner stations, satellite, shortwave, and the World Wide Web, this is Radio Australia. Going from strength to strength. So Radio Australia. Um, I started listening to shortwave back in 1982, August of 1982. So 40 years in 2022. I was um, still playing around, learning to use my uh, realistic DX100. 1982, we're at... Uh, one of the solar cycle peaks, or at least at the decline, in, but still high solar activity of one of them. And I, um, of course, went to school, and I believe that in the first couple of weeks of school, uh, on a weekend, I was alone at um, with my DX100 in the living room. I hung a wire about, I don't know, 20 feet of wire on the ceiling with tape and was clipping that to the antenna of my uh, realistic DX100. And I was the curious guy, so even though I didn't hear much on the higher frequencies late at night, I still decided, yeah, I'm going to go on the higher frequencies, see if I hear anything. And tuning slowly, a faint voice appeared. And I was in the 21 megahertz range at the time. And I was listening, it was in English, I was trying to figure out what cat but that could be, you know, back then, no internet, no quick search of the IBI space and looking at whatever station you're, you know, you're listening to. And behold, after probably about an hour of radio listening, I finally had a clear ID without fading. This is Radio Australia. 
I kind of jump up and down and couldn't believe that from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, which is the opposite of Australia, I could receive a signal from a station so far away. I had heard stations from Europe, I had heard stations from quite a lot of places, even though it was just a couple of weeks that I had the radio. But Australia, that, that was beyond the magic of receive, the magic of radio. Man, that was so fantastic. And so let's end with a little clip of uh, Radio Australia once again. Uh, that will probably bring back some memories. And uh, I sure miss Radio Australia like probably a lot of you. Uh, such a great signal in North America. Pacific in the 16, 19, 25, and 31 meter bands. It's 8.30 hours UTC. Here is a bulletin of Australian news read by Paul Connick. The headlines... Australia ends its two-year term on the United Nations Security Council with criticism of the Council's permanent members. Tasmania's Premier Mr Gray says yesterday's decision by the federal government to delay legal action on logging in national estate areas, areas is a tactical retreat. The Australian Democrats announced plans for a major campaign to increase the party's electoral support. And a total of 40 Australians from Queensland and Tasmania are included in the Queen's New Year's Honours list.